Detroit, New York, Los Angeles. It is unacceptable that they use their power to keep us voiceless. Those that have gone before us say no more. What exactly do you do? Let's go make some history. I gotta be honest with you guys. When a man stands up, says enough is enough, we build the path as we came. Rock by rock. At Movie Talk, Real Talk. There you go, you got it. Hi, I'm Leslie. Hi, I'm Carrie. And welcome, welcome to, to Movie Talk. Talk, the show where we have real talk about real movies and entertainment news, highlighting indie producers and indie films. The first segment of our show, we give our featured takes on independent filmmakers' indie picks. So get your popcorn, sit back and relax, and enjoy real movies or real talk. Welcome to Movie Talk. Hey, guys. Josh Gad here. I'm just playing, man. It's Kevin Hart. This is Josh Gad. This is my co-star in my new movie, The Wedding Ringer. Check out this hilarious teaser. Hello? Seth, it's Doug Harris. I was wondering if you would want to be my best man. You're the first person I thought of. I heard you died. Eduardo, como esta? I don't know what to do. I uh, told her that I have a best man lined up. The truth is always the best. What if the truth isn't an option? There is one other thing. Welcome to the Best Man, Inc. I don't wanna lie. So, Edmundo sends you to come find the Oracle. What exactly do you do? I provide best man services for guys who lack in such areas. So, I'm not alone? Alone? No. I'm in a very profitable business because of guys like you. How many weddings do you think were in the U.S. last year? 2.4 million. million. There were 2.4 million grooms. Do you think that each one of them has someone to be their best man? Well, I never knew people like you existed. How you looking for groomsmen? I need seven. You need seven, seven groomsmen? I do. You're asking me to pull off a golden tux. Too many things go wrong. No. But there's a name for it. There's also a name for a horse with a horn on his head. It's called a unicorn. Don't mean I can get you one. I need your help. This is strictly a business relationship. You're not buying a new friend, you're hiring your best man. Thank you. Thank Yo, what you, you doing? Yo, what you doing? I'm sorry, I just, I got really excited. Damn it, man. White people. So, wow, we have, again, like we've been saying, really great movies coming in. Um, and one of the new ones at top of the box has been The Wedding Ringer, which is really funny and doing really well. And um, we've had... One of your favorite cake. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a really interesting one to talk about because everybody knows Jennifer Aniston is a sitcom star. Yes, and she's done a lot. Um, she's been in movies like The Good Girl, where she was, you know, serious turn. She got some recognition for that, um, and another one too. But this one, this is where she really, I think, gets to show and prove what she's made of. And she really rallied hard for this. She took no money i think really pretty much it's to make this film script, uh, oh it is know, it is a really really know, interesting script i didn't get to see the movie yet but um watching some of the trailers on it just to kind of figure out what was the movie really about because reading about it i couldn't kind of figure it out so well, there's so much to the plot it's yeah. it's really detailed there's subplots and how it all relates then back to her but it's like this woman who's neurotic and funny which is bringing in that comedy but also in a way delusional yeah, and then yeah. she's like crossing the border to get medicine. And um, one of one of the um, trailers that I saw was hilarious. She was in the pharmacy, and and she comes with the script. Well, with the list of medicine, and the pharmacist says, "Well, where's your script?" She was like, "I thought I didn't need a script because she's in Mexico, <laughs> right?" Yeah. So I'm like, "Wow, okay." And then he's like, "Well," she's like, "Well, how can I do this?" And he's like, "Well, okay." So he turns around, and he grabs the Virgin Mary Saint, and he uh, opens it in the bottom, and he starts stuffing <laughs> the medicine in it, right? And she's like, "Oh no." Anything but that, not not the Virgin Mary. So he grabs a different saint and he goes to like fill it up, right? So um, I was just trying to get the take. Like, was she actually sick in the movie? Like, I don't. Well, it's um, it's not that she's sick. I mean, it's um, more men. Well, she's Mental. mentally, okay. yeah, not physically sick. sick. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I, I mean, there's a lot that. of a mm. lot to that. It's a really interesting film. Yeah. And I mean, she lobbied really hard. She was nominated for Golden Globe. Yeah. for the film so deservedly so and really happy to be there obviously that's good she's yeah. been through a lot and she stood her ground and yeah. she's still doing what she has to and i'm hoping she gets some more roles like that yeah. yeah and um another great movie action drama was taken three which was an excellent movie I actually went to see that i didn't one. see that one yeah that, that one's pretty good right from the beginning of the movie it was straight action and i won't you know 
tell the whole movie, but it's... It's, it's one of those ones you kind yeah, of spoil it yeah. if you... So, someone does die in the movie. It's not him. Okay. <laughs> but it's really good. Um, and his, everyone plays, you know, a good role. And um, it was pretty He's good. been doing a lot of action. Yeah. William Neeson. He's been well, doing... He has, yeah. you know, take one, take two, take yeah. three. And um, he was also in uh, one of the movies in an airplane. I forgot the name of that one last year. Um, but yeah, so in the box office, we've had a lot of good movies. Um, you know, Top Five is still doing well. Oh, I love Top Five. Top Five. That Selma's awesome. still doing well. Yes. Big Eye is still doing well. The Exodus is still doing well. Yeah. Boyhood's um, still there. Boyhood is still there. <laughs> Birdman is still, still there. there. And the other one, Wild, Wild is yes. still there. So, um, but we have a lot of upcoming other movies like um, um, Inherited Vice, which I went to screening for that one. Totally thumbs down. I've heard I'm sorry. some really triple thumbs down things. Although I'm uh, open mind, but um, yeah, yeah. I'm and hearing it from you too. Yeah, no, no, no. I won't go back to see that, or not even with a free ticket. <laughs> and um, Duff was, which is a teenage movie coming out. Um, parent discretion for sure. Um, but it's coming out. So you know what? Let's take a look at those trailers. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, how about our indie pick for the week? We have an indie pick. We have um the. The World Made Straight. The World Made Straight. Okay. So we'll go and look at those trailers yes, and we'll be it. right back with our guest. Yeah. Steve. Look who I got with me. You're looking at your groomsmen. These guys cannot be my groomsmen. It looks like a cast of Goonies grew up and became rapists. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. I'm not strapping. I want to go. I gotta be honest with you guys. Oh, I, uh, oh. to Nina how her suicide affected you. She jumped off a freeway overpass, landed on a flatbed truck heading to Mexico. Her body got stuck in customs for like a week before Nina's husband could even claim it. Way to go, Nina. Uh, spread your legs a little bit wider. Should we go on a date first? Haha. -ha. Uh, listen, you think I could come by and pick up the rest of my stuff? I think it's prudent if we don't see each other. Uh. Nice night, huh? I came here for Nina's address. I can't give you that information. I actually brought you a really nice bottle of vodka. What kind? For Nina's husband. Yeah. I'm not a stalker. I mean, not in the traditional sense. You know, you just could have said you wanted to come over. Yeah, but what's the fun in that? Oh, hey. What are you doing? He doesn't even like you. No. I know about your accident. I can't save you. I can barely save myself and my kid. I'm not asking you to. He's rented. He's a man of sight. Get off my property. If I can switch places, I would. I wanted to tell you that. Make a wish. I can't think of anything. Doesn't matter. Just blow them out. Wow, so great trailers, yes. huh? Yes. We, we, yes. <laughs> we saw cake. Yes, we saw we saw cake. I'm understanding a little bit more. So it's not a physical, it's a mental. Yeah, there's a so lot of I emotional gotta, I gotta catch that not to not to uh, reveal the plot too much, but there's a lot of emotional stuff going Here's, on. Don't forget you can catch us at www.movietalkshow.us. Real movies, real talk. <laughs> See you guys later. See ya.